Hello and welcome to the News in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a phone call with His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and congratulated him on finishing first in Spain's International Endurance Championship. His Majesty the King praised His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa's efforts to enhance Bahrain's endurance sports in the international arenas, including Europe. His Highness Sheikh Nasser extended deepest thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, healing his care for the royal team and keenness on promoting the endurance sport in the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Nasser conveyed congratulations from His Majesty the King to the royal team, jockey Rahid Mahmoud, winner of the 160km race, fourth place jockey Mohammed Abdul Samad, trainer Abdurrahman Assad, in addition to members of the technical and administrative staff. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and leader of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, extended congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the Royal Endurance Team's winning the 160km Spanish International Championship race, which was held in Spain with a wide participation. His Highness praised the support of His Majesty the King for the endurance sport, which contributed to making further international achievements for the Kingdom. His Highness hailed the interest and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which left a positive impact on the team. His Highness Sheikh Nasser received a telephone call from His Majesty the King on the occasion, where His Majesty congratulated His Highness, commending the outstanding efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in continuing to affirm the status of the Bahraini endurance sport in international events. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his sentiments towards the members of the Royal Endurance Team, which affirm His Majesty's support to the endurance sport. His Highness added that winning first place in the 160km race was a result of elaborate work and a technical plan developed by the team. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was keen on following up and on and guiding the Royal Team's riders, which raised their spirits and motivated them to finish the stages of the two races. His Highness Sheikh Nasser will lead the Royal Endurance Team in the 120km race for the public and the Horse Calandria. The 120km race for the public will witness the participation of His Highness in addition to the rider Sheikh Najl bin Salman Al Khalifa, rider Salman Issa, rider Muhammad Abdul Hamid Al Hashimi and rider Othman Abdul Jalil Al Wadi. بإذن الله بارك لي سيدي جلالة الملك وتوني كنت وياه على التلفون بارك له مباشرة فوز الفريق الملكي وفريق الرعود بالمركز الأول والرابع في بطولة إسبانيا البطولة ما كانت سهلة تبعت المراحل كلها وشفت صعوبة تضاريسها لكن إحنا كنا نعرف أن تضاريس الأرض هي صعبة وتجهيزنا كان لهذه القرض يعني جهزنا الخير بطريقة مختلفة أنها هي التواكب وعلم أن خيرنا يات من البحرين وندربها على هذه الطلوع وهالجبال هذه كأخذ يعني تطلب من عندنا شوي ابتكار في نوع التدريب فهو الصراحة يعني إنجاز متكامل من فريق ومن خيل ومن فرسان ومن جميع الحمد لله والتوافق طبعا ياثنا من الله أنا تعرفني أنا مثل ما قلت أنا إن شاء الله بشارك فريقي بكرة وبعطي اللي عندي كله وبحاول إن شاء الله أني بعد أواصل إنجازنا اللي اللي حرزنا اليوم 
ان شاء الله ان فزت بيكون شيء طبعا يعني كبير بالنسبه لي اني افوز في بطوله اسبانيا وخاصه مع فرسان كبار واي شيء بكره احنا طبعا نستقبل بصدر الرحب فبنشوف ان شاء الله بكره شو الاجواء وش اللي ينتظرنا ان شاء الله on behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Issa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated the 47th Annual Bahrain Fine Arts Exhibition. His Highness Sheikh Issa expressed his honour in representing His Royal Highness at the exhibition, noting that talent identification and promotion serve as the basis of development, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Issa Al Khalifa. The exhibition, which encompasses 57 artists presenting different artistic styles, displays a special exhibition entitled Khalifa bin Salman, a presence renewed with love from 1972 to 2020, dedicated to the latest Royal Highness, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. For her part, the President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, extended her appreciation to His Royal Highness for sponsoring the exhibition and to His Highness Sheikh Issa for inaugurating it. Noting that support for Bahraini arts helps promote and extend artistic reach at a time of unprecedented global challenges. Sheikh May further noted that this special exhibition is a fitting tribute to the memory of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and his personal support for the arts. The winners of this year's exhibition are Maria Malnoemi, winning the Aldana Award, and Ahmed Anan and Jumana Al Qasab, receiving awards for the second and third place, respectively. Senior officials were also in attendance.
The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly ministerial meeting for development and infrastructure projects. The virtual meeting was attended by a number of ministers and officials and witnessed a presentation by the Minister of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning, Issam Khalaf, on the projects that are being carried out as part of the government plan at 2019 to 2022. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that urban planning projects under the leadership of His Majesty the King and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister are intended to keep up with the urban developments in the Kingdom and that the projects are being carried out as per the best practices and extensive expertise in the field. He said that the development of this field is the result of ongoing coordination with the Capital Governorate and its Municipal Council along with other strategic partners from around the world with the goal of improving the standard of living for citizens in a healthy and sustainable environment. Sheikh Khalid said that the self-funding model for municipalities has been successful and affirmed the importance of the principle of fair competition, the progress of Bahraini women and development of education and healthcare services, carrying out infrastructure projects along with various economic measures. He praised the partnership between the public and private sectors and thanked the Minister of Works for his efforts in line with Vision 2030, along with those of the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Municipal Affairs, Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the rest of the staff. For his part, the Minister of Works expressed appreciation to the Deputy Premier for his keen interest in municipal affairs, which has resulted in many achievements in the field. The Sustainable Energy Authority and Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance signed an agreement today in the presence of SEA President Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, CBB Governor Rashid Al Maraj, and a number of officials. This agreement comes within the efforts of the Sustainable Energy Authority to enhance cooperation with academic, professional, and training institutions in various important fields the most important of which is the field of science and banking studies, which is one of the most important and complementary sectors of basic technical sciences to advance the renewable energy sector and energy efficiency. The signing of the agreement constitutes an important bilateral achievement and it will lead towards building capacity in sustainable finance, training human cadres in related fields and specialisation and refining the skills and expertise of bankers, in addition to supporting the comprehensive development visions set by His Majesty the King, which is reflected in the variety of national plans in force in Bahrain and a belief in the importance of integrating efforts in all development fields within a framework that pushes the Kingdom and the citizens among the ranks of developed countries to achieve sustainability and in line with the realisation of its regional and international commitments. The Financial and Economic Affairs Committee at the Representatives Council and the Financial, Economic and Industrial Committee at the UAE National Assembly held a remote joint meeting. The chairman of the committee, Mahmoud al Bahrani, affirmed that the meeting aims to enhance the joint GCC parliamentary and diplomacy, especially in light of the repercussions of the coronavirus. He affirmed the bilateral strong ties and brotherly relations, as well as the history binding the two countries. The Grand Imam of al Asha al-Sharif, Dr. Ahmed al tayeb received RHF Secretary General Mustafa al-Sayed, who was in Cairo, to attend the honouring of the RHF as the best leading institution in humanitarian work in the Arab world by the National Academy for Studies and Development. The Grand Imam praised the humanitarian efforts of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, the honorary president of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, and His Majesty's interest in charitable and humanitarian action in Bahrain and abroad. The Grand Imam lauded His Majesty the King's full support to the needy and afflicted in various countries in a manner that guarantees human dignity and development through projects. He affirmed that what distinguishes the RHF from other institutions, it is that its leadership and management styles that combine creative thinking, strategic planning, project implementation on the ground, action and serious field follow-up to ensure the safety of implementation which makes it a role model among charitable institutions in the Arab world and a source of pride. The NASD also honoured Al Sayed with the Best Pioneering Personality Award for 2021 in recognition of his lifelong services in the field of humanity management and the dissemination of science and culture. Al Sayed conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad and His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the wishes to the Grand Imam and to Al Asa Al Sharif of success in spreading the true and tolerant image of Islam. 
In his speech during the honouring ceremony, Al-Sayed expressed gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad for his paternal care and great interest in the families and children of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation for the limited royal support. He also expressed deep appreciation of the generous support that the Foundation enjoys from the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and praised His Highness Sheikh Nasser's efforts in leading charitable work through the RHF. Al Sayed conveyed the greetings and appreciation of Bahrain's leadership, government, and people to Egypt, praising the depth of the distinguished historical relationship and highlighting Egypt's great role in serving Arab issues and spreading science and culture, as well as its great strategic depth for the Arab and Islamic nations. Arab Parliament President Adel Assoumi met with Secretary General of the Interparliamentary Union, Martin Jagong, during his visit to Geneva. The meeting aims to discuss the launching of a corporate partnership between the Arab Parliament and the Interparliamentary Union and agreeing mechanisms presented by the Arab Parliament regarding initiatives related to Arab issues. Martin Chengong praised the efforts of the Arab Parliament in support of the interests of the Arab nation and its initiatives in supporting and empowering women, as well as its role in the field of human rights. The two sides then approved signing an agreement to cooperate in the corporal and technical fields, which is the first agreement of its kind between the Interparliamentary Union and a regional parliamentary organisation. The General Directorate of Civil Defence extinguished a fire in a warehouse of plastic construction and cleaning materials in Salman Industrial Area with 21 vehicles and 57 personnel. The Director General of the Civil Defence, Brigadier Ali Mohammed Al Houthi, said that the case was received at 3.40 a.m. and that teams reached the site within minutes. The firefighting started immediately after their arrival to prevent the spread of the flames to nearby factories. No injuries were reported. The National Ambulance, the Maharat Governor Police Directorate and the General Director of Traffic were at the site. The Director General said that investigations are ongoing to determine the cause of the fire. Following a review of the average COVID-19 positivity rates and approval by the Government Executive Committee, the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19 today announced that the Kingdom of Bahrain will adopt the Green Alert level on Friday the 16th of July 2021. The Kingdom will adopt the Orange Alert level during the Arafah and Eid al-Adha holidays starting from 19th of July to the 22nd of July 2021. This is in line with the previous announcement that some dates will be designated a higher alert level in the interest of public health and safety. Average COVID-19 positivity rates will again be reviewed following the Eid al-Adha holidays on the 23rd of July to determine the alert level. The task force emphasised the importance of following preventative measures and procedures throughout the Arafah and Eid al-Adha holidays. The Civil Aviation Affairs has updated travel regulations expanding the number of red list countries by 16 in line with directives issued by the Government Executive Committee after review of the latest recommendations of the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus. Passengers arriving from red list countries, including passengers who have transited through any of those countries at any point in the preceding 14 days, are prohibited from entry unless they are citizens or residents of the Kingdom. Passengers eligible for entry must present a negative PCR certificate with a QR code administered within 48 hours of the departure, undergo further testing upon arrival and on their 10th day of mandatory quarantine. Payment for testing may be made on arrival or through the Be Aware Bahrain application. For travellers' convenience, designated quarantine centres licensed by the National Health Regulatory Authority are available. Passengers with an address in Bahrain registered in their name and the name of an immediate family member may complete their 10-day mandatory quarantine at that residence. Passengers aged 6 and below are exempt from these requirements. All other travel procedures for arrivals from non-red list countries remain in place. Red list countries are modified based on an assessment made by the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus and is periodically reviewed in line with international developments. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,090,109 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,025,112 had taken the second, and 93,519 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. 
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 1,009, with 182 recoveries and 76 registered new cases. 33 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 37 are contacts of active cases and 6 are travel-related. They urge everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.